Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Today we're taking a look at the beta of Gen Erase, which is a new feature coming to Luminar Neo. Let's just jump into it right now. Let's do it. Okay, I've got a beautiful title slide that I spent hours making, uh, but I want to jump into the meat of this and then we're going to jump into showing you how this tool works because it's cool stuff, it's fun, it's incredibly handy, and um, I like where this is going. So, what does it do? Basically, content aware based on AI, removing the unwanted distractions from your photo, replacing it with things that it identifies that would match the surrounding areas. Um, I do want to point out, as I said in the first slide in the beginning, this is a beta, which means some of this information may change and perhaps more importantly, some of the way the tool works and looks may change as well. Now, if you don't have Luminar Neo yet, you can get it at the link down below that is an affiliate link. You can also use my coupon code, GYMNEXT15, save 15%. I'll put that down below. comes out October 26th, so check your watch. Not very long, just about a week from now. If you have an active subscription or the 2023-2024 Creative Journey Pass, you're getting this thing, and you're getting it on October 26th. Keep in mind, when it comes out, it generally rolls out across the globe, so... The first time you get up in the morning and open Luminar, maybe it's not there yet because it does get staggered generally around the globe just to ease the burden on the servers. Um, it's based on stable diffusion. It does, does require an internet connection because it's basically generating all this stuff in the cloud and then sending it back down. Speaking of the cloud, you may know of other companies that are talking about having credit limitations in terms of how many times you can use this. Currently, there's no plan for a credit limitation. It's a beta, things may change, I have no idea, but no credit limitation at this time. And one of the interesting things is that they're actually generating a 1536 by, uh, pixel length on the long edge uh, area, right? So it's essentially 1.5 times this typical 1024 pixels that you may see in other apps. Uh, as I understand it, and kind of what they indicated is that they're upscaling this locally. So two things would come into play while you're using this tool. Number one, bandwidth, right? It's going to go to the cloud and generate that, and then processing horsepower locally because it is going to do some upscaling. Um, it does create a new file, which is a TIFF, uh, in a new folder called Generative Creations. Now, so far, every photo that I've done, it hasn't created a TIFF. That's okay. It's a beta. Um, I'm trying RAW files and JPEGs. It's creating a JPEG every time. So, again... Perhaps that is going to change here because, again, this is beta. Things are going to change. I also want to point out it's not an extension. It's um, it's going to look like an extension because if you look at it right now, it's right over here on this right-hand side. It says Gen Erase. And all you got to do is like take a photo, and then you can just click on Gen Erase and open it up and start doing your erasing. But because it's beta, I want to point out that may change as well. Okay, so let's do it. This is a demo fold, uh, photo from the folks at Skylum. And as you can see, it opens up this little menu down here and you've got various controls, including the size of your mouse. But all you do is, of course, we're erasing. So you wanna paint over what you're erasing. And hey, by the way, I wanna get that shadow as well because I don't want that shadow of this white car um, in the crosswalk when the car isn't there. That wouldn't make sense. So you just wanna kinda of mouse over, not kinda, you do want to mouse over the entire object and cover it all up so it's not an outline. It's a uh, complete fill. And then I want to point something out. They're saying one of the best practices is to isolate and do different things at different times. In other words, you might have five things you want to erase right now from this photo. They're saying it may be better if you do it one at a time or maybe two at a time. So in other words, don't, uh, let's use the word confuse them. Probably not the right word, but let's not confuse the algorithm and the servers and everything by saying erase all this different stuff at one time. Um, my results so far, it's actually been fine. I've picked, in one uh, photo, I picked like 20 different things and erased them all in one go. So they're saying it's a best practice. Uh, in my experience so far, hasn't really made a difference. So I'm just going to finish painting a little bit there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead, because we're talking about it, why not? I'm going to grab this cyclist, and I'm going to get his shadow as well. And I want to erase him and his shadow from my lovely photo. It's not my photo, actually. It's a really cool photo. Anyway, once you've got your selections made or selection, you just click the erase button. This is where the bandwidth thing comes into play because it's sending it to the cloud, doing its computational fun. And then it's gonna come back and it's gonna say, here's your photo. And I'm gonna show you that as soon as it's ready. 
Now, as I said, we're in beta and I've been playing with this on probably 20 or 25 photos already. I just got it. Hey, look at that. I've just got a, a result return and you can see it took out the cyclist really well and that other car really well. The only other things I need to do to this photo would be take out that other shadow, maybe take out this other cyclist. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And this is where I want to point out you have a new folder created just like HDR Merge, just like Pano that uh, is created and it says, hey, here's your new generative creation. That's the name of this folder. And here it is. Now you can see here's a previous example where I took out that other cyclist and that sort of thing. But the one I just did is right here. And there you go. I still have that cyclist in there and that shadow because I didn't do that in this video, but you get the idea. Now they've got other photo tests that they've sent us. I've been playing with lots of different things. This is the one where I removed all these different people sitting in this, um, uh, this blue lagoon in Iceland. And I did that in one go and it took them all out. Let me find it. Here it is. And it did a pretty darn good job. Now I could zoom in and I could find a little bit of artifact here and there. It's not perfect. It's beta. It's obviously going to only get better, but it's doing a pretty darn good job considering that this is a beta copy that's just come out. Now, the other thing I want to show you is I also went in and I decided to erase this other horse and that brown horse is uh, in my way. And so let's just say I don't want that brown horse anymore. So you can come over here and bottom line is you can remove larger objects, not just small stuff. And you come over here and again, you got to fill this whole thing in. And uh, I even came around here and went over the main where it's sticking up. And all I'm trying to do is give as much information as possible to the, uh, the AI gods uh, so that they can figure out whatever it is that Jim is thinking. And in this case, I'm thinking, hey, let's, uh, let's get rid of this horse. Uh, it's a beautiful horse, but um, let's just say I want just one horse and not two. So I finish painting. I do everything that I want to do and I click erase. And again, it's going to the cloud. It's doing a whole lot of intelligence stuff that's uh, something that I could probably never fully understand, but it's figuring out pretty cool stuff. And then it's going to return an image to me and I'm going to be able to jump in and do some refinement. And that's an, uh, something I want to point out is when I did this photo originally, it did a good job of taking out that horse, but, but I did come in with the erase, the regular erase, not the generase, the regular erase tool and clone and stamp to touch up a couple of little areas. And that's something that I'm finding in a few different photos is that I'm using this to kind of do the major, do the heavy lifting. Let's call it that. This is doing the heavy lifting for me. And then I'm coming back with the regular erase tool and the uh, clone and stamp to kind of touch things up and refine them a little bit. And this is the photo that I ended up with. And what it did is there's a couple of little artifacts, like at the very bottom left corner, there's something on the left-hand side, and there's a little too much of that crazy, uh, awesome rock star hair coming off that left, well, my left, the right side of the horse. It sticks out a little too much. So I came back and I touched it all up a little bit with the erase brush and the clone and stamp. And truthfully, I have no idea what the hair on the side of, the, of that horse looks like simply because uh, that other horse was in the way. But even for these larger, kind of more complex things, I'm finding that it's doing a pretty good job. I want to show you this photo as well. I'm not going to go through the calculation again, but if you look at this photo, you've got all these different pilings here that were along this beach. And so I went in and I highlighted them and just said, hey, Luminar, get rid of those for me. And in doing so, I came up with this photo. And that was Basically, I touched up uh, or highlighted all of the different pilings and then I clicked erase and that was the result. I didn't do anything else. And so, as you can see, that's a pretty darn good job. I mean, if you look at it, I think it's done a good job even here where there was a piling in front of this rock. I think it's done a good job and I think it looks pretty good here. I mean, you can maybe see a tiny bit of artifact if you zoom in, but honestly, I mean, I think it's, it's doing a fine job and it's only going to get better. So that's kind of a quick first look at this beta copy of Gen Erase in Luminar Neo. It's cool stuff. It's super useful. I'm going to be taking advantage of this technology quite a bit because uh, A, it's fun, but B, like I said, it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you so it can get rid of the majority of stuff that you want to get rid of. Then you can touch up with the erase or the clone and stamp as necessary. That's my first look, my friends. As I said, if you don't have Luminar Neo yet and you want to check it out, there's a link down below with the coupon code. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, my friends. I appreciate it. You guys take care. And until next time, adios.